Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making red beans and rice with some delicious hot swaggerty sausage. And I'm gonna tell ya, it's some good stuff. All right, I've started with half my onion. I have cut off the, not the root side, the other side. And you wanna keep the root side on so that, that it clings to each other. And then when you cut, cut it, you wanna kinda cut it at a diagonal down the onion and that way you don't have to make a slice through the middle. You know, you don't have to go this direction. And then you just chop it. And then when you get to the end, I'll show you how, how you cut the rest of it up. So today we're gonna brown some Swaggerty Farms hot sausage. So this is their seasoned hot sausage. I'm not sure to get it all out of the package. I'm gonna turn on the skillet and get this in here. And we're gonna brown it up nice. We'll use our hamburger separator too while we're browning it. Get it nice and separated. Okay, this is our soaked red beans. And they do need to be covered with water. Make sure they're good and covered before you soak them overnight. And I didn't put anything in these beans. There's no salt, no bouillon, nothing. Um, and that's how I was able just to, you know, let it soak on the countertop, on top of the stove overnight. And we're gonna pour this into our crock pot bag. And I'm making these, you can tell, it's got all the good stuff in the bottom. Um, I'm gonna rinse that out and put a little bit of it in here. That's the good stuff in the bottom. You want it too. All right, so what you're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna cook these in the crock pot. And if it's in the winter time, of course you can get out your Dutch oven and let it heat up the house while it's cooking on the stove. But since it's summertime, we are going to make it in the crock pot today. All right, now we're gonna get this sausage and we're gonna put it in our beans. And I'm gonna try to leave a little bit of oil in the bottom of the skillet if there's any in there for our onion and our pepper. Well, there's really not gonna be much, but that's okay. That's even better, because then you don't have to worry about draining it. So there's not a lot of fat on the sausage, you can tell, uh, once it comes out of the skillet, how it looks. There's enough juice in these onions and peppers that it will deglaze this pan. So there's really no need in you adding any more oil to it at this point, okay? So we're gonna put in our peppers. So I've let those sit there for a minute and then we're gonna start moving them around and they're gonna get all those juicy bits off the bottom of the skillet and go into our red beans. And boy, is it gonna be good over some delicious rice. We'll start up that rice, but it only takes it about 20 minutes. So we'll start up the rice before we eat supper. This is something you can do during the day in the crock pot. See, it's already wanting to come up off the bottom. So just give you something that's flat so that you can deglaze it with the juices from these onions. Now I've tried their hot sausage yet. You know, I'm a huge fan of their sausage, but we always get the mild and I'm gonna give this hot a try. It's delicious. 
it's just the perfect amount of heat it's not too hot to burn you up but boy is it good y'all are going to love swaggerty sausage if you don't know where to get it you can go online and order it direct from them and um they'll ship it to you frozen so there's also a link on there where you can find out where it's sold locally near you so take a look at that today we're going to put in a clove of garlic of course it's optional but now i'm even going to put mine through the garlic press to give it a good strong flavor of garlic now look if y'all want it to be really hot like louisiana style hot you might want to add some tabasco or hot sauce whatever you like your favorites let's get these peppers and onions in here it only took a minute to do that because I didn't add any oil or nothing to it. Well, that looks good, don't it? So now it's got the garlic in there. And we're going to mix it up good with our beans. So make sure those beans get that good flavor in them. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon of beef bouillon in here. We're going to stir it up. And then I'm going to taste it. And see if I need to add another teaspoon of salt. Because it just says salt to taste. And we want to make sure and get enough salt in these beans. The sausage, of course, has salt in it. And it tastes really good. But the beans have to be salted, too. Yeah. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to stir it up and get this in the... Uh, crock pot and put it on high because we're going to eat it for supper and make sure you soak those beans if you don't they're not going to get done all right we'll see y'all when we get ready to put our rice together for our red beans i'm super excited to try these beans we have been smelling them and they smell so good now it took them a long time to get soft in this crock pot i actually had to cook them for eight hours and it may even take longer it's according to how long you soaked your beans so what i did is i actually picked this up last night i let it cool down i picked it up and put it in the refrigerator and then i put it back in here again today so you've got to cook this until your beans are done now it won't take as long on the stove top but i didn't have i didn't want to watch it because then you got to worry about it scalding or burning don't burn the beans you know mom always did um so be careful Use the crock pot, or even you could use your uh, Instapot as well on the Volta grain setting. All right, so we're going to serve this up over rice. This is red beans and rice. Now, the original recipe said that you could add some cubed ham to it as well, but with times like they are today, I just use the sausage. And of course, I wanted to showcase the sausage today. But if you get, get that ham, buy one, get one free. Lots of times that diced ham is buy one, get one free. This is a good meal to uh, feed the family. Um, and hopefully you can get your hands on some swaggerty sauce because it tastes so good. Now I made some rice and um, I toast my rice in a little bit of olive oil, lightly toast it before I add the water. And it makes it nice and separated like that. It just makes a really pretty rice but you, um, and you don't have to rinse it or anything. All right, and now we're going to put this on top of it. I probably should have got a bigger spoon. And then we'll put some juice in it. You want plenty of juice in it as well. Okay, don't that look good, y'all? I'm gonna tell you, it is good and it smells good in the house while it's cooking. All right, y'all, I'm using me a big old spoon. This is a digging kind of meal. just some delicious no kidding 
no kidding that is just delicious it's so comforting and it's just it's kind of like chili but it's not it's really different but absolutely delicious i've made red beans and rice before but i haven't used the swaggerty sausage and i'm gonna tell you boy does it make it taste good don't it chris delicious mm -mm. And it's, it's not spicy that much at all no with that rice on the bottom and stuff mm -hmm. like if you just eat it by itself it's a little spicy so you, it's really good on a hot dog um or it would be really good on a baked potato so i know it makes a lot but take it and package it up in little uh serving sizes and pull it out of the freezer and use it for baked potatoes and uh, hot dogs and i can't think of anything else can you a burrito it'd be good in a burrito even it would be just it's just delicious i'm not kidding delicious so uh, there's a lot of things you could do with this and it would go a long way and you could feed the family one night over rice and feed the family another night in a burrito or on hot dogs so keep that in mind because i know we're trying to find some shortcut ways to feed everybody y'all have a wonderful and blessed day and we thank you so much for watching collard valley cooks where we cook with swaggerty sausage thanks to swaggerty sausage boy is it good bye y'all love ya Cook it up like mama.